How to open up MicroStation files through ProjectWise. First we need to open up ProjectWise. You can either double left click on the icon if you have it on your desktop or you can go down to the start menu and find ProjectWise that way. So I'm going to go down to the start menu just to show you where it's at. You'll go to start, all programs, Bentley, and then underneath here you'll see one that says ProjectWise V8i. You'll select it and then select the one that says ProjectWise Explorer. Since I have it on my desktop, I'll just simply double left click on it to launch that application. And then I'll expand out where it says MoDOT Electronic Plans. And depending on what you have access to will determine what you'll be able to see or you won't be able to see. So to open up a file through ProjectWise, you simply go to the location of where you need to go for your particular project. And we'll get you a list of files that you can open up. Now there's a couple couple different ways that you can open up a DGN file through ProjectWise. First thing is you can simply double left click on it and you know, it will open up that particular file. Depending on what application that you have whether it's a MicroStation file or an Excel file or a Word document depending on what type of document it is that's the application that's going to open up and since we're concentrating on DGN files for this particular class here we're going to talk about DGN files so you simply double left click on it to open it up or another way that you could open it up is to right click over it and you'll get a list of options that you can do whether it's select a view, new but here you got open, which will open up the file. You have the option to open up as read only. So if you had write access to that file and you didn't want to make any changes to it whatsoever and you want to open up as read only, that's where you could do that at. Or if for some reason you need to open up with a different application. Maybe you had two different versions of MicroStation for whatever reason on your machine and you, and you want to open up with a different version, that's where you can do an open with. One thing that you may run into, if the file does not open up whenever you double left click on it, with older files you may have to change a workspace profile. So to change that or to look at that if the file doesn't open up is to go ahead and right click over the file and go down to properties. And in this properties window here you have many different tabs but the one that we're going to concentrate on is this one that says workspace click on the one that says workspace make sure that your workspace profile is either set to none or annotation one of these three right here and the file will open up on older files you may run into where the workspace profile is set to one of these other line style scale resource files if it's set to that just change it to none or annotation save the file and then you'll be able to open it up but like I said, that only deals if you if the file does not want to open up for you. Most of the time it's going to open up just fine, so you probably won't have to worry about this. So to open up the file, I'm going to double left click on the on the file that I want to open up. It's going to launch the launch the application. Now the file is opened up, now you can start working with it, whether if you just want to print it or if you're um, in production and you're wanting to make changes to it, you're good to go. So that's how you open up a file.